What's up everyone, welcome back from our FF3. We are back again for uh, another episode. And we are inside the subterranean lake. Someone stole something precious from the dwarves. And uh, we need to search for the item. So... We keep going. There's pretty much a straightforward cave. There's like... Um, six new enemies, I think. And uh, we'll search for them. There you go. Manticores! Alright. So... Can we actually do something? Yeah. Nice. All right, so we got the Manticore. So pretty much, there's, there's like one chest over there, and we have a golden needle. We have a new enemy here, Bomb. And no, we're not gonna use. We're gonna use Ice Stab. Watch out for the bombs, man. I think this is not the right idea to use the fire sword in here. Alright. Let's just remove the Salamand and give the Meteor Sword to Lunet. So the, pass the secret passageway is right here. Alright. So... There's a chest in here with the Zeus Wrath. Yeah, more bombs. But yeah, this area is like straightforward, nothing special around here. We're killing scrubs and everything. Yeah, Zeus Wrath again, a lot of Thunder Element spells. Another Golden Needle. More bombs. Alright, we're gonna go for the basement. Basement 3. Needle again. Yeah, there's a lot of golden needles and thunder spells. Oh yeah, this is a I think the last the last room. 300 gil. New enemies here. Sea Div Sea Devil and Ruins Weep. So um What are we missing here? We're missing two enemies. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah, there's the boss. Oh. oh, there they are! Stalagmite and Mermaid. Merman! Interesting. Yeah, we, we did good. Level up. That's good. And let's face the boss. This is like a straight. Uh, straight easy. It is really easy. St st stay back! Get away from the horn if you want to keep living. Hmm. And it's boss time against the mighty Kotsko. It's not so much about mighty or anything like that. It's just food. Uh, spam my arrow and get some tuned arrows around here. Yeah, level 2 spell, watch out for that. You can cast mini and um, oh, nice crit. Yeah, if he if he casts mini on you, he can pretty much one shot you because mini reduces your defense to zero, I think. Yeah, let's heal. Some Blizzara. Oh, he's dead. So we're gonna kill the guy, we get uh, the horn of ice. There you go. Can we actually teleport out of here? I think we can't teleport. Mm, no, we cannot teleport from here. 
What the hell is that? Huh? What is that? Hmm. Line following us. Like attacks are not good for us. Alright, more experience. Yeah, that thing then doesn't go away. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, more manticores. Yeah, Monk is doing 90 hits per, uh, per attack. That's crazy. Alright, let's go over here. I think we need to cast Mini to get out of here. Could be wrong. One other preemptive strike. Nice. Alright, that thing is still uh, following us. Good. Yeah, having a staff that casts spells on the white mage is uh, really, really, really good. Oh, bombard! What the hell is a bombard? Intense fire damage. What the hell? So that's what fire two. All right, we're back in the, the dwarven hollows. Mm, let's heal first. Just in case. Frank got rested. Let's talk to the I think it's it's this guy. It's your it's our horn, you're the best. Yeah, sure. Sure, will nothing will happen. Sure. Or device. What? What? You fools! Didn't even notice me hiding in your shadow. Now both horns are mine for the game. Yeah. With both horns of ice in my possession, I can extinguish any flame. The tunnel to the crystal possesses no obstacle to me now. Oh, shh. Makes sense. Hello, life scum. Can we rescue the, the two crystals and save the fire crystal? Are we going to fight him again, this scum of the heart? Find out next time. And Final Fantasy 3. I'm in closure and I'm sunning out. Have a good one! <laughs>